show you what our room is like, guys, so you guys get an idea. Now, when you go on a cruise ship, the rooms are much smaller. It's not like a normal hotel room, but Disney's are pretty big. So this is what you can see here. You got the nice little bed area. Look at this perfect little bed. Ah. As you can see, you got the nice little lights there to keep the, the to lit up. And then right down here, um, you've got little areas to plug in. So you can plug in and charge, which is so convenient. It's so nice. Looking over here, this is like your little credenza, your table. And then this is a little couch that can be pulled out into a bed as you need to. Plus, if you see this up there, this can be a bed that can be lowered like a little bunk bed. And Miles is very excited, so we will do that. Well, you have to ask the uh, stateroom person to come in and they'll lower that down for you. Then right over here, you've got your little area here. Look at this. A little television. You've got some shelves over here. You've got the nice little writing area plus areas to plug in. You've got your USB ports to plug in. Everything you need. Really cool. Check this out. And down here, you've got your drawers. Perfect little drawers. Let's check out this drawer down here. This is your fridge, which is nice to have. And then over here, I'm gonna kind of turn around here and kind of show you how big this is. It's almost like two rooms. This here, this is a, like a little privacy thing. You can pull this and you can separate the room. So at night, if your little ones are sleeping and uh, you could go ahead and unhook that and close that off. And then that way you have like um, a nice little area for sleeping. Now let's go check over here. This is, check this out. You see two doors here. Okay, this is the first door. Look at this. Nice big giant mirror over there. Ah, nice mirror right there. Look at this. This is your shower and it is, this is, you know, for those of you who've never been on a cruise ship, this is huge. You have a tub. Look, you got your, all your little stuff that you need there for showering. You have your shower head there. You have your sink down here. Little makeup area here. And look at this. They even like have like one of those like makeup things where <laughs> things that to, yeah, it's like a to look makeup even bigger, like a ma what is that a magnifying mirror for makeup, I suppose. Okay. Then, which is over which is so nice, is you're gonna come down here and look at this door right here. And this door is the bathroom. So you see you have your little toilet right there. You've got your sink in here. This also has a sink, which is nice, so you can always wash your hands. And so that way, if somebody's using the bathroom, you have another person who can be showering and getting ready for the day. Very, very cool. And then over here, what you have is this is your closet space. Very important on a cruise ship. Very, very, very important on a cruise ship. Let me open this up. This here, you see this is from when they pull the bunk bed down, they'll have a little ladder so Miles can climb up there. This is the area that you put your suitcases. And you'll notice that it is, they got a little area there, areas for shoes down there. And then you, this next one over here is another closet. Because that's one thing is if you have lots of suitcases, where do you put your suitcases? You need to put them in the closet to kind of get them away. A little safe down there. You have your life vest that you have here, which is very nice. Another little trick though, is you notice underneath the bed, that is another area where you can stow your suitcases right underneath the bed. So cool. Super awesome. Now I'm gonna show you the view here. Now this is this is why we're showing the view. This is kind of cool. Um, it's not a great view right now because we're just getting onto the boat. This locks, you could turn this, you could, you could lock this so that way little ones can't open this up if you don't want them to. Open this up, it's a little sliding door. And you have a little tiny balcony here. Really nice, nice little balcony. And this is overlooking. You have little chairs here, a little chair. You've got a little table. And then of course you have this balcony view. Can I see? Uh -huh. It's beautiful, down below. And if you want, like if you have people staying, friends like staying in adjoining rooms, they can open those up and make it, your balcony a little bigger if you want them to do that. What's the best way to book rooms if you have a large family, like four kids, two adults? The best way is just go get it through Getaway Today. Tell them what your needs are, and they'll find rooms to accommodate all your needs. When you go on a Disney cruise, your doors are metallic, and if you want to, you can decorate them. It's just for fun. You don't have to if you don't want to, but to put magnets on it. It also makes it way easier to find your door later on. Like, you're like, oh, where's my door? Oh, there's one all the, all the all the solely magnets on it. It's just a fun way to decorate your door, especially if you're celebrating something like an anniversary or a birthday, go nuts decorate. Do you need a passport to go on a cruise? Yes, you do. You do need a passport. This is a sailing away party. And it's right when it's kicking off. Everybody's getting excited to go. Wow, that was awesome. Let's take it and show how it's done. All 10 fans.
this is the main atrium area. And oh, look, right now they have Cinderella, they've got Snow White, they got Merida. They always have so many characters. But this is the main area. This is the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique where people go in, like little girls and boys go in and get dusted and, and get princess and princified, I guess. A brave royal king, I make you. May all your dreams and wishes come true. Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo! Like these crazy little things like this. This is like a little crew, like a little the captain's ship right there. <laughs> she just crashed. It's a, it's a interactive like portrait, but you can control the ship. And Mimi just crashed the ship. <laughs> All right, try again. We'll, okay, we'll go a little again. bit slower. Okay, okay slow. ready? There's the. Oh wait, wait. Okay. Gotta. It looks just like a drawing now. She's. She's. Going. Oh, grab the treasure. Try to get the treasure. Go right to the treasure. She's going. Oh, she got it. I oh. got the treasure. I'm gonna back and hit reverse. Okay, now we're now I'm gonna make it go full speed ahead. Don't cra oh, oh, she no. just crashed. Let's <laughs> 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 try it again. Let's back you up, mom. Back it up. Okay, ready? Okay, she's going full speed, guys. Full speed. Go. No. <laughs> no. 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 Try to try to get the, the all the dolphins. No. All uh, right, here I go. Oh, right. and that's the end. Yeah. She did well. You did I well. Amazing entertainment on a cruise ship, right there. And then right above that, you got Mulan right over there. You got Goofy over there. Rapunzel's down there. Tiana's back there. You guys, everywhere you look, the kids are going crazy. How crowded does the ship feel? It doesn't ever feel very crowded. It's really fun. Like you'll go to a show and it'll be maybe like 20 people in one show. Then you go to another show, maybe 400 people. The only time it feels crowded is maybe when you're lining up to go into the dining room at the end of night. Uh, that could be kind of crowded. It might feel a little crowded. It might take you five to 10 minutes to get in. But other than that, it's really never, doesn't ever feel very crowded. They're everywhere, they're surrounded with Donald. Daisy just walked by, just doing a little, shaking a little tail feather. Good green, there goes Goofy. And always looking for a shoe. Here's Okay, so let's talk about doing a Disney cruise if it's doable, if you have a disability or a mobility issue. They are absolutely 100% friendly to anybody with a mobility issue or maybe has a disability issue. If they are awesome, they'll take care of you. You do have to go up and down elevators or our elevators because the floors might be, you might, your room might be on floor eight and the dining's on floor seven or five, but you can take elevators going up and down, not a problem at all. You don't have to worry about steps because there's always a place, for, uh, ramps for mobility scooters and wheelchairs. And somebody asked me about, what about going with a, do a service animal? That I have not seen. I don't really know about that. This here is a big area. It has swimming pools. The floor moves and slides so that you can see the swimming pools. They have a big, huge screen up there. They're gonna get ready to show a movie here. They also have this is called the aqueduct. It's a well, like a water slide that runs during daytime. It's going for a lot of I mean, it's a lot of fun for kids. Swimming pool area here. There's another pool down here. Let's take a look at it. And like a water slide here for kids and adults. This is a fun little area right here. Great little pool area. And it's kind of more like a kid's pool. You know, it's shaped like a mouse head. 
Nemo's Reef is an area that's for little kids to like, it's like a giant splash pad. This Nemo's Reef is open for during the daytime for kids to have a really fun time. It's called the Aqua Lab. This is where the kids can come and splash, have fun, just enjoy this area here. And you know, Miles loves it, kids love it. It's a lot of fun. This is Goofy Sports, you play basketball. We're gonna walk right over here and you can see they have miniature golf over here as well. They have like little putting greens right here for kids, families. It's just all included. You come here and just do a little bit of putting. Oh, putt putt. I like these ones because they actually have like the dotted lines to show you like where to aim and how to start. There's also a ping pong table here and you can play this in all time. Nobody's playing right now, but you can play whenever you want. So here is all the food um, when you like breakfast. Now, one of I love these things here, you have to come in and wash your hands when you get food. It's like a requirement. I love that. This is all the seating. These are all pulled down, but this is where all the food is. They have, this is where they serve breakfast, uh, lunch, and dinner buffets. Donuts. This is seafood congee, this is miso soup, we got some egg fried rice. They have more traditional, they got uh, Mickey waffles, buttermilk pancakes, chocolate pancakes, and vanilla pancakes. Now they have, they have uh, coffee, and then they have juice, and soda pop. All right, so for breakfast, I just got the eggs benedict, and some orange juice. I like to get a little bit and then just keep going back and back and back and get more and more and more. Yeah, you do not have enough food. This is a breakfast buffet and you have two egg benedicts, that's it? I'm what, going back. What are you doing? <laughs> All right, so I went back. I got a, this is ginger pound cake. Yesterday they had blueberry pound cake. They always have chocolate pound cake. Chocolate's fantastic. But we get a ginger and it's a raspberry donut. Nutrition. They have a churro Mickey waffle. I couldn't wait, I already ate it here. It's like the churro batter. They dust it in cinnamon uh, and sugar. It is so good and fluffy. I got syrup, but I don't think you need it. It's so good. It's so sweet. How are food allergies handled? Well, you just have to tell your server if you have any food allergies. And then the buffet, they just actually have all the ingredients listed out so you can see if there's anything there that you might be allergic to. Now, they do have um, dining options here on the cruise. They have the Royal Court. They have the animation was a palette and the Royal Garden. Three different um, dining halls. And every day you go to a different dining hall and they put on a different show. We sit at the same table every night. We have the same servers every night. It's a lot of fun and Miles really enjoys it. And they really go the way to make it really cool. So that's all included as well. That food's all included. All the buffet food that we just saw there, that's all included. Get out, me and my This is the artist palette restaurant. And we saw what you did to do the same. And Crush right, is here talking right, to us. That's cool. Let me hear you say jaw. Jaw. All right. Come on down. They said jaw. 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 Oh, there's Dory. I can speak human. Hello, human. Oh, Dory. And Marlin. Oh, let's go think of some games we can play with them, okay? Oh, Mr. Right. Ray is on by. I'm going to tell you, Captain Mayor, but I will be back to get to know some of you righteous dudes later. Until then, Jelly Man, Little Blue. How about those games, dudes? Games? Games? Hey, Moonfish, come on, play a guessing game with us. Okay, everybody, let's play a guessing game. Hey, wouldn't it be fun to play a game together? Yes, Story. <laughs> I love games. Okay, everyone, the Moonfish are going to slowly form a shape. Make a guess, everybody. Now, don't be shy. Just shout it out. What is it? A skull? A fish? This? <gasps> it's me. Oh, you're making me blush. We're guessing again. See if you can guess before everybody else does, guys. Here we go. Here they come. Oh. Let's hear your guesses. Turtle. Turtle? Just keep guessing. Just keep guessing. Guessing, uh, guessing, guessing. Keep guessing. Oh, jellyfish. 
All right, one more time, guys. Try to guess what it is. See if you can win. See if you can guess before I do. Here we go. I'm guessing they're gonna make a shape. Right again, Dorothy. Anybody else? Let's hear your guesses. Oh. Submarine? Oh, oh keep guessing. Shut up your guesses. Boat. Submarine. Um. Oh, a ship. The fantasy. <laughs> oh, this is the butternut squash soup. Oh, just kidding. This is the cheddar bacon. <laughs> I don't even know what I ordered. This is what did I order? It's potato. Potato cheesy bacon soup. So Amanda ordered arugula salad, salad. with beets and oranges. I with beets and oranges, <laughs> and I have this is pasta. Um, fettuccine Alfredo. Fettuccine Alfredo. Just kidding. This is <laughs> this is a beef tenderloin. Beef tenderloin. Teriyaki beef tenderloin done medium rare. And this is Jonathan. Jonathan, hello. What did you order? I had the uh, grilled tuna steak. Oh, that looks good. Yes. And John, look at this. Is it for? Look at this. You, brand new, brand new suit. Looking very dapper, Jonathan. Thanks. <laughs> that looks awesome. That is not my cup of tea, but Amanda loves it. <laughs> this is more my style. We're gonna choose dessert. I think I'm, there's lots of desserts. You can order as many as you want. And you, I don't know if you do that, but I am going to order the lemon ice box pie. Totally sweet. All right, you totally sweet dudes. Would you like to join my totally awesome club, dudes? Yeah. All right, well, raise your right fins, dudes. Raise and your right feet feet. after me, dudes. All right. I. State your name. State your name. Oh, we totally got accomplished in that tank. <laughs> Promise to be awesome. Promise to be awesome. All the time. All the time. And if anyone ever says awesome. And if anyone ever says awesome. I will shout dudes. I will shout dudes. Oh, welcome to the awesome club, dudes. Dudes. Amanda ordered what's called a deconstructed carrot cake. No sugar. <laughs> no sugar. Oh my. Beautiful. All right, guys, this is the icebox lemon pie. And the plate is frozen to keep it. It's very cold yeah, it coming frozen. out. Very cold. And Jonathan got the rice pudding. That's good. I should have got that. <laughs> Tonight is pirate night. Everybody's dressing up in pirates for dining. And there's Mimi, she's dressed up for pirate night. I am, I am dressed up as a pirate. There's the eye, and here, and my hat. I'm a girl, I'm a girl pie, oh, and this is some of the treasure that I found. Oh. And this is our thing to toast pirates night. Toast pirates night. Right, Ariel? And there's Bruce. Arg. I'm so glad to be here for Pirates Night. I've got pure, clean spring water. It's the best in the world. So what's the big deal about Pirate Night? Well, they serve lobster tail. That's really the biggest deal. Everybody loves the lobster tail. Then you can dress up. It's optional. You don't have to dress up if you don't want to. But they also have the Muppets uh, Treasure Island movie playing. They have Ariel, the Little Mermaid playing. And then they have a little Mickey show where Mickey Mouse does a pirate show on the deck, on the deck number 11 outside and you'll be able to watch the Mickey Mouse Pirate Show. It's all for fun. It's something you can do if you want to do that. And you can get a picture with Captain Jack Sparrow. Um, oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh.
Now we're getting ready for Mickey's Pirate in the Caribbean show. This is the outside of the beautiful boat. parties it was so fun we are about to go do the fireworks show Disney cruise, line, cruise lines are one of the few cruise lines that does fireworks over the sea here's some interesting trivia they pack the fireworks with fish food when it goes up and explodes the fish food actually burns and kind of cooks it and it lands down in the ocean and sometimes if there's like a full moon at night and there's really good lighting in the water you can see fish eating the fireworks <laughs> is that invisible jack jack in the aqueduct So pretty. Right over the boat, guys. Like, whoa.
right by them. Here's a Pixar Bow celebration, guys. This is amazing. Hey there, party people! Welcome to the Pixar Pal Celebration! It's about to get even more awesome! Why? Because the Pixar Pal Celebration is about to begin! Rex is there. I've never seen Rex or Bullseye. The Pixar day was amazing, guys, and they had like that Pixar pal, pal around, whatever, parade. Oh, 
to see Rex and then we got to see, um, I've never seen Bullseye before. That was absolutely amazing. I loved it. Just, just couldn't believe it. You know, right here they have a movie theater and you get popcorn and go in and watch different movies. They have different shows here. Um, see, this is the Buena Vista Theater right there. You can walk right in here, see this nice little theater, watch different movies. And they also have like popcorn. There's all the different movies that have going on. They've learned to draw. And then they have right here is they call the Walt Disney um, uh, Theater. They have different shows there during the day and they are hilarious and fun and amazing. I thought this was a really interesting question. If I go by myself, I still have fun? Absolutely, uh, absolutely. You're gonna have a great time. A lot of singles go and meet people there and have fun and you're gonna have a great experience just having fun, eating, sightseeing, traveling. You will not regret it. If I book through Getaway Today, can they also book like short excursions and things that cost extra? No, they cannot. Dizzy recently made a change that doesn't allow any ages to book shore excursions. You have to do that yourself. And you can do that through the Disney app. What, they can book at the whole cruise for you and then get it all set up on the app for you. And then once it's set up on the app, then you use that Disney app to go in and book your own shore excursions. This is one of the kids' areas. There's multiple kids' areas, but look, they get to fly ships. They get to come to command centers. They get to come down here. They have like a they have like a dance floor. It's like a dance floor. It's super fun. They got little they got arts and crafts activities in here. Look how close this. And then over here, they've got like the superhero academy. You come in here, and they get to do like all kinds of little experiments, and and they have like. Super fun stuff for all the kids. They just come out here, they do like their, it's all interactive and they tap their magic bands. They're just gonna push the red button. This is what the kids gonna do. It's one of their activities. And you got the joystick, they gotta fly it around and everything. Straight, this is literally straight out of Star Tours. They also have a little area here. This is the, for a little, Little children, it's called, it's a small world nursery. It's a little tiny area there for your little kids. What about if your child maybe has autism? Is this a fun activity to do with your child? Absolutely, they do have, they do have activities that are designed for children with autism. It is a lot of fun, uh, but be aware, each child has their own different needs. You'll have to assess those needs. Oh, you wanna be, we want, my mom wants to get a picture of her in front of Mr. Potato Head. Let me take a picture, hang on. My mom's so more happy in here. Okay, right, we'll get another picture. Hang on, hang on. And now my mom wants a picture of Slinky Dog. Hang on. And now she wants a picture with the RC Razor. She's in heaven, because she loves Toy Story. Hang on, let me get a picture of mom. This is the other kids' lounge. We're having a little open house, they come here. This is where the kids get to come and play games and watch movies. They, get, they have like a video game challenges where we play Nintendo Switch, and uh, that means Nintendo Wii and like, and uh, race Mario Kart. This is like the craft studio. And this is like an interactive table where they can play games. This is the animator studio where they come in and learn how to draw. And they even have a way to drive a boat. There's also a giant little dance floor that lights up on the, on the floor here. And this is Pirate's Cove. Let's pretend that you want to take an adults only trip. Is there enough for adults only to do on a Disney cruise ship? The answer is yes! Oh my gosh, yes, there's so much to do. They have adults uh, only uh, dancing, adults only trivia, adults only drawing, adults only comedy clubs, adults only shows, adults only pool area, adults only bar, adults only restaurant areas. So much to do for adults only. I promise you go adults only, you'll have plenty to do. So we're gonna come down here. This is called the Tube, and then they also have Europa, Ooh La La, the Sky Lounge, Ogil's Pub. Right here is the Skyline Lounge, I think. And this is Ogil's Pub. A little bit quieter in here, kind of relax and watch a game and grab a drink. They do have some live music going right now, which is awesome. This is Ooh La La, another uh, bar. And the bars, they have a little bit of food that stays out for you to kind of to 
half, so which is kind of nice. And if you like dancing, you come dancing till two in the morning. And so this club's still open, we're not past two. It's called the Tube, as in like the London Tube, and it's all decorated like you're on the Tube, the, the subway. They call it the Tube though in London, which I love. Now I'll go to Skyline Lounge. This is another lounge, you can walk in here. This is a more elegant lounge, and the pictures change, and as the daylight changes and everything changes, you can see cool things here in the pictures. It's just like an elegant lounge. This is the 18 and older area, it's sweet. They've got a bar here. They have coffee lounge in here and the swimming pool. This mists during the daytime. You have a nice little area to sit here. This is just strictly this whole area here. As you kind of look around, is all for adults, just for adults. Really nice area for them to relax, sit on lounge chairs. Get to go in there. There's a bar in there and a coffee bar in there. It's called the Cove Cafe. Is it actually worth the cost to take a Disney cruise? I would say yes to that. Now you realize you are paying for a premium product. You're paying for the Disney experience, right? You're paying for the character meet and greets because you're gonna meet a lot of characters and the characters are like here, there, there, and all over. You're basically tripping over characters everywhere you go. And you're getting that Disney experience and you're gonna see Mickey Mouse a lot. So that's a lot of fun. Now, if you really are, if you're like, I don't know if I wanna spend it for that, you can go on a Royal Caribbean. Those are just as fun and they cost a little bit less, but you're not gonna have the Disney experience. Hey, guess what guys? Not only is this cruise amazing, but guess what? Amanda and I, we did some amazing excursions. In fact, one of the excursions was one of the craziest excursions I've ever been in, ever. We went up on like a waterfall. We're gonna do a whole bunch of videos showing you each and every one of our excursions. Those will be coming up next. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and you hit the like button. So that way you can watch all these crazy excursions. Literally, we climbed up a waterfall. We went to Castaway Key, Disney's own private island. We swam with the stingrays. We went to a chocolate factory. We saw ruins. What? We did it all. We'll show you all those videos coming out right after these videos.